In this screencast, I'm going to talk about the redim preserve statement. Uh, you've learned about how to use the redim statement when, when you don't know the size of an array or a vector to begin with. You somehow get the size and then you have to redim an array. So in this screencast, I'm going to show you how we can preserve the elements of an array um, and then redim the size. So the example I'm going to show you, we're going to make uh, a shopping list in this first part and then it'll export your shopping list to the cells of the spreadsheet. We don't know the size to begin with, but inside the subroutine we are adding items as we go along. So we have to resize, which would mean redim, but we also have to preserve what's remaining in this vector. So the first thing we need to do are dim our variables. I'm also going to use option base one, which is typical when we work with arrays. Now because we don't know how many times the user is going to want to press OK to add an item to the shopping list. We're going to put this in a do loop. And the first thing inside the do loop, we're going to ask the user um, if they want to add an item to the shopping list. I'm saying answer is equal to message box, would you like to add an item to the shopping list? VB yes or no. This puts a yes or no button on the message box, but it's also because we have this on the right side of an equality with this variable answer, it's going to take the yes or no button, whatever they press, give a, a return value to this answer variable. So if answer equals 7, corresponding to the no button, then we're going to exit the do. Otherwise, if we stay inside the loop, that means the user wants to add an item. And what I'm going to do is just increment i by 1. So now we have the first item in the shopping list. And then we would redim now we know the size of L, we would redim L as a variant, which is now just going to be a vector of one component. So we can use an input box to obtain the new item, and then we loop back. We ask the user again, would you like to add an element? If they select yes, I will be bumped up to 2. We will redim L as size 2 now. However, this is where we run into the problem. Whenever you redim, you replace all the elements in that vector with zero. If you don't want to do that, in after redim, I can do redim preserve. Now we've added i equals i plus one. Now the size is two, but we're going to preserve the first element. Then we're going to get the second element because now i is equal to two. We're going to get l of two in an input box and we're going to keep going. So I've added one more line here, range a1 to a, and then I'm concatenating that with i. For example, if they wanted to add four items, then i would be equal to four, which would mean in range a1 to a4, we're going to transpose l. Vectors by default are row vectors in VBA, but we want to transpose that. So let's go ahead and see if this works. We press F8. We open up the message box. Would you like to add an item to the shopping list? And we say yes. And you notice down here the return value is a six. So then we increase the size. We redim preserve. We create L, now size 1. It's a vector. And to get the first element of L, we get that in an input box. So I'll say something like cookies. And then we loop. And it asks them again, would you like to add an item? I say yes. I is bumped up to 2. Now we've redim preserved L, which means we've resized it to now 2, but we've preserved the previous element. And then we get that in a second input box and we loop back up. If we want to add another item, we stay inside the loop. We bump i up to 3. We resize L, keeping the previous two elements in our vector. We get the third element and we keep going. And this time I will select no. We exit to and then in range a1 to a3, we're going to transpose L and we place that onto the spreadsheet. So this is how we can use the redim preserve to kind of keep previous elements in the uh, vector or an array. Just a word of caution, you can only use redim preserve on the last element of an array. So if you were making like a 2x2 two two array and you wanted to resize it to a 3x2 and preserve everything in there, you can't do that. As an example, I've dimmed A here as unknown size, but then I redim to a 2x2. Two two. I define the elements of that 2x2 two two array, and now I want to redim 
but I want to preserve all the elements. So if we run through this, we see that we create our A array. You can open up the first row and the second row. I'm going to resize this to be a two by three, so two rows and three columns. And when you open up A now, we have the three columns. However, if I wanted to add a row, instead of adding a column, I wanted to add a row, you can't do this because with the read in preserve, you can only change the size of the last index in an array. So that would be the column index here. So you see when we run through this, it doesn't like that. It doesn't work. So that gives you an idea of how to use the redim preserve statement in VBA.